don't see them diamonds on your neck, that for keep safe. Don't let them steal you wrong. See that for keeps. What's up, guys? It is Mama Taylor. You guys said y'all wanted me to do more vlogs. So, what it is, what it is. What it ain't is Mama Taylor. Yep, up close and personal. I I know y'all probably wondering, what is Mama Taylor doing? Where is she going? I just made it to the hospital. I'm up here because I have to get my screening. I came to get my mammogram today. And I do not get to do this uh, very often. But... Um, this is something everyone needs to be doing yearly once you get of age where you need to get it done. So it's time for me to get my uh, yearly uh, screening to make sure that everything is okay. <clears throat> I finally got a day without the hubby and without the kids. So I'm try trying to see what I'm going to do after I take care of this. Um, probably going to go do some things for the family reunion because, of course, we're the ones hosting it this year. So I do have a few things that I need to go pick up for the reunion. So I'm going to go do that because I don't need a pedicure. I don't need to get my nails done. I don't need to get eyelashes, hair, or anything done right now. So I'm just going to go um, make my time useful because time is of an essence so whenever I do get a long time I do try to take advantage of my time but um ladies I do want y'all to start taking more care of yourself because we do so much for everyone else and a lot of times we forget about ourselves because we're always catering to everyone else I know I can speak for myself I know I am ever since I became a mother 23 years ago it was no longer about me. Everything became, um, it was all about the kids, my husband. So y'all, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I don't even know what to do with myself when I'm alone because I, I do everything for them. And, you know, it's sad to say, but it's just like, I, you know, I, I just cater to them. So, I don't know how to act when I'm alone though. <laughs> But I do try to take advantage of, you know, my little alone time and do stuff that I don't normally get to do. But to my defense, to mothers, because like I said, it was hard. When I had Daisha and Ty, it was so hard because it was um, they weren't twins, but they were two years apart. So it was almost like I had twins and I had to take them everywhere, do everything. It was just overwhelming. So I want to give a small advice to those mothers who have small, small kids that are like months and a year or two years apart. Um, the way that I used to get time to myself is after I cooked, um, gave them, fed them, gave them their baths and did everything. I always took at least 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes of my time to myself and I would always take a bubble bath and I love to read books so I would always get a book and take it in the bathroom with me close the door and I let them know hey it's mommy time and they knew for that 30 to 45 minutes do not disturb me and that's how I got my little break and then, you know, when they, if they was at daycare or something, or if I, you know, got off early or found some free time, I would go try to do something. If it wasn't even nothing but go get me a Sunday, you know, something that I like. So you got to find time, ladies, for yourself. And, um, you know, because if you don't, if you don't find time for yourself and take care of yourself, nobody else is going to take care of you. Because if you're not in good health, and um, how are you going to care for others? So, that's what I want to do. But, um, I'm going to start trying to do a little bit more vlogs. Um, you know, for you all. 
And I, I, I guess I probably messed up the intro, but what it be, what it do, what it don't. It is Mama Taylor. Y'all say I'll be changing the intro 50 million times, coming up with my own intro. <laughs> But I do want to thank y'all over and over again for supporting, supporting, supporting. I hope y'all had a lovely Easter, Mother's Day coming up next month. Y'all, these holidays be killing. Oh, God, they just come too fast. Summer be here before you know it. The kids will be out of school. And oh, my God. Whew. It, I just don't know where the time is going. It just need to slow down. I be having one in high school, one in middle school, countdown, who my baby, baby boy, he ain't got seven more years, then I'll be free at last, I will be empty nesters, and I ain't gonna lie, because when I become an empty nester, I will be on the road all the time, all the time, not some of the time, but all the time, okay? We don't get to travel as much now because, you know, like I said, with the kids and the girls. And a lot of times, the girls take up a lot of our times because we be on our own trips with them or going out of town doing shows with them. But, like I said, when our youngest get out the house, we're going to go have more mommy and daddy time. Because that's what you need to do. You need to have time for yourself. But I am in the process of planning a trip for me and Papa Taylor because we did not get to do anything for our 23rd anniversary. Yes, so I, I am getting ready to plan a trip because we the last time we went uh, somewhere for our anniversary, well, it was just me and him anyway. It was in Jamaica and that was probably like, no, I take that back. We went to the, well, we went to Jamaica one year, but the last time we went to the Bahamas, that was probably like two years ago. So, with that being said, like I told him, it's time for us to take a mommy-daddy trip again with no kids, just us alone, because we need to do that. And y'all got to remember, when we became parents, we were young, so it's become kind of the norm for us. It's, it's like I have to kind of enforce it most of the time. Cause we just so used to doing everything with the kids and i'm like no it just need to be me and you we, we don't need to do anything with them and it's good sometimes just to have you and your spouse alone but for those that had kids after the fact they understand what i'm saying because it's almost like you're dating again and then you get to have each other's undivided attention you don't have any interruptions you own your own time you don't have to worry about you know, kids saying, oh, let's go get in the pool. Let's go do this. When you're with you and your spouse or a significant other, you can lay there. You can get up when you want to get up. You hang out as long as you want to hang out. Um, you go to sleep when you want to uh, go to sleep. If you want to just stay shut up in the room the whole time when you're on vacation, you can do that as well. So, but I want to go to the islands. That's where I want to go. I want to go back to the islands. So, um, I had a great, great time when we went to Jamaica. We've been to Jamaica twice. Been to the Bahamas. I do want to go to Hawaii. Haven't been there yet. Um, I haven't been to, um, um, England. I want to, uh, yeah, I want to go there. Um, I want to go to, uh, I've been to California. I mean, Las Vegas, but Y'all, that was uh, 20 years ago. When I went, I was pregnant with Ty. So, it's long overdue. I need to go back to California. I want to go where um, I'm not knocked up. I want to go <laughs> where I can really let my hair hang down. But when we went, I, I had a chance to go to the casino. Oh, we, we were there for like a whole week. But, y'all, that, that that's just 20 years. I mean, I'm pretty sure California has changed a lot since 1998 so y'all just spam up the comments and get on papa taylor head for not taking me back to california because uh, he ain't took me yet i haven't been to um i haven't been to new york either yeah i haven't been to new york but i, I do want to go there to the big apple 
So, I mean, we've been quite a few places. I mean, I've been to Philly. I've been to Chicago. Um, where else? I haven't been to Texas. So, I do want to go to Texas because I know we have people, supporters in Texas. Um, I'm thinking of, let's see, where else I haven't been. I haven't been to Colorado. Um... I don't been to ten. Most of the stuff in in the South, I don't been to. I don't been to Tennessee. I don't been to Alabama. I don't been to Florida. Not not you know not to knock any of those states in the southern states. I don't been to places like that. Um, I don't been to Kentucky. Um, let's see where else. I I haven't been to Mich Michigan. Um, I do want to go to Alaska. So it's got quite a few places that I still, like I said, haven't been and that I want to go. So, um, but I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming to a city near you soon. But I just wanted to say hey to you guys and vlog. Well, I had a little chance to vlog, but I'll be back with you guys uh, shortly. Um, like I said, I'm going to go get up a few things for the family reunion. I got to get like certificates. Um, finish getting some of the, um, you know, drinks and things that we're going to be taking, um, get some of the activities, things that we're going to be doing, little gag gifts that we're going to be giving away, and I'll be back with you guys shortly. Out. All right, guys, I just made it to the dressing room, getting ready to put on my robe so I can have my routine mammogram. I'm going to try to video when I get in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I will try to get video footage for y'all. Okay, let me change and get into my gown so I can go ahead and get this mammogram out the way. And ladies, if you have a spouse or a significant other, please encourage them to get their prostate checked. Because you, as you know, as men get older, that is one of the important screenings or checkups that they need to have. A lot of times they don't want to do it, but we need to encourage them. As their supporter, we need to encourage them to get it done. We have to sometimes push the button, push them to get it done. All right, let me hurry and change in here before they get to knocking on this door. Bye. All right, guys, I finished my mammogram. Sorry, I didn't get to video inside. They said because of HIPAA laws, they couldn't allow me to set up my camera. So, at least you get to see me with my gown on. <laughs> but, anyway, it, the last one was painful. They did a 3D this time. They did something a little bit different. They told me I'll get my results next week in the mail. So, I got my fingers crossed and everything to check out like it did last year. Um, but, it was an experience. Sorry I couldn't set up, but y'all know how these doctor's appointments go. They, you know, real funny about you setting up footage in the camera. But anyway, I'm back in the dressing room, getting ready to change back into my clothes. So, y'all get to see me with this. I just had to um, undress from the waist. So anyway, I'm gonna put my clothes back on so I can go on my merry way and enjoy the rest of my day. Get back to you guys later. All right, guys, I done left the hospital. I can talk now, but I don't know what I was thinking when I was telling y'all, getting y'all hyped up, talking about some. I was gonna set up my camera and now. I really had bumped my head because I would have been showing y'all too much. I can't show y'all the beaties. I ain't know they. I forgot they. they <laughs> that would have just been all my little business hanging out. I'm so glad they didn't let me set the camera. Y'all had Papa Taylor trying to uh, chop my head for showing y'all all my little biz naive. Oh no, honey, I can't show y'all the little honey buns. No, no, no. But I love y'all, but I don't love y'all that much. Be having my man trying to fight me by showing y'all my little beaties. But anyway, oh, I don't left the hospital. Getting ready to go finish running my little errands. Oh, honey. 
I should have already had my keys. I see this, 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 this what my little hubby be getting at me about. He be telling me I should already have my keys ready when I get to the car. Honey, I be digging all in this bag and looking and hunting, hunting for stuff. Oh, y'all, the day turned out to be a pretty day. Put on my little hater blockers. Who and get on my merry way, but it's hot out here. Y'all, it is in the 80s today turned out to be a beautiful beautiful day oh god but uh, let me put my little shades on but it is burning up let me get my air blazing oh it is hot 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 oh honey oh oh give me some air give me some air oh i gotta go get a tune-up on this truck now y'all when i'm running errands i don't i don't i don't, I don't ride I don't, I don't ride the marrow when i'm running errands i mean i'm in the yukon because I, I when i'm around here i just be driving all crazy driving fast i'll be about to run folks over run them off the road how that when, when i'm on here i i'm i'm like i'm the um i'm i'm, I'm the robo cop Cause, hun, I be about to knock you out the way. I be like, move, get out the way, get out the way. But I'm on this right here. You can't tell me that, boy. I roll this engine up. Hoo hoo. But when I'm on the Camaro, I be I, I cruise, hun. I drive. I be just looking pretty, let my hair blow, and I I, I let the uh, sunroof down. But I, but when I'm in the Yukon, this my this my work truck right here. Then my baby, I'm running engine up on this right here. I be about to, ooh, I be about to knock somebody out on this right here. They be like, look at that woman in that. When I'm on this right here, I'm like, I'm, I'm on a jet. I'm on, I'm, hey, I'm on my own personal jet. Cause I, I'm, I'm about to get somewhere. Well, I, I'll both of them will get somewhere, but you know, I, 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 I trail lightly when I'm on the Camaro. Whew. When I'm on White Diamond, I take my time. But now, you know, every, to every now and then, I have to put on motor sport. Cause folk be trying you. I don't know when you on them little sports cars. I don't know why folk be trying you, trying to race you. And every now and then, I have to put it on motor sports and let them know, yeah, I might look like an old lady, but this old lady can put put the uh, metal to the pedal, put the pedal to the metal, and I can raise it up, raise it up. And I, honey, when I put that. Hey, when I put the pedal to the metal, whoo, I, hun, I shoot past them. And they be like, who, who, where? They don't know where I went. They just be like, dang. It, it was like I was a bird. I just flew right past them. But let me, uh, you know, I'm driving. I'm, I'm trying to be safe. I ain't trying to, you know, do like my kids, uh, ride and, and, and be no ran into somebody. Cause I got that good insurance and I want to keep it. I want to keep a good driving record. So I'm going to just have to um, get back with y'all once I uh, get to my destination. But um, I just wanted to do a little chat with y'all. And I'll try to see if I can check back in with y'all or not. But I'm going to my next destination. Like I said, today is airing day. I had to take care of my health. Take care of my little, go get my little screening routine screening done. And, uh yeah, like I said, you this is something you got to do. I know we all don't want to take the time to do it, but you got to do it. Cause like I said, if you don't do it, you'll you'll regret it if you don't <laughs> take care of yourself. You can't put the day off for tomorrow. So, like I said, ladies, I encourage yourself to take care of yourself. Do what you got to do. Go on and get all your little routine checkups. And, and like I said, cause we ain't getting younger, we're getting older. And that is important to keep your health up so that you'll know what's going on with your body. But, um, like I say, I'm driving now, so I got to go now. Hey, yo, what up, man? Y'all already know, man. It's Papa Taylor, man. Welcome to my um, website for my clothing line, as you know. Uh, if you don't know, I am the founder of URL Apparel. Undeniable and real youthful. So this is uh, definitely for the youth. Um, it has a youth feel. Make sure you guys go and check out the um, website. 
URAPparel.com. Um, there are so many different looks on here, great quality clothing, uh, urban fit, you know, if it fits the body, contours you, you know what I'm saying? So you make sure y'all go check the website out, man. There's jeans on there for women, jeans on there for men, jumpsuits, unisex for men and women, you know what I'm saying? Hoodies, unisex for men and women. You want to dress like your boo and you can't find nothing that quick? I'll let your boy, man. I got you. You know what I'm saying? It's jumpsuits for all ages, hats, t-shirts, pants, everything, man. Ooh, them look real nice with the Geico on them. You know what I'm saying? Those are men pants right there, though. Got trousers for women. You know, y'all make sure y'all go check the website out and support your boy. At the end of the day, uh, this brand is built for you and your cousin, your sister, your brother, your mama, your daddy. Like, all y'all could dress like y'all could be a bunch of twins if you wanted to, you know. But don't forget, man, go and subscribe to the channel, man. Also on Instagram, YouTube, um, you are apparel, you know. Make sure to go through and check and find things that you might like. Something that you want. Something that's different than what everybody else is wearing. If that's what you're looking for, you found the right guy. You are apparel. You are undeniable and real youthful. The brand of the new millennium.